This is your CBS 46 News Update, brought to you by West Shore Home. Good morning, I'm Gravy Ardenza. It's now been more than 24 hours since Tropical Storm Zeta barreled through the metro area, leaving a lot of you without power. It was scenes just like this all across our state that left so many people devastated yesterday. The cleanup is going to continue this morning. Georgia Power says that it has restored power to more than 500,000 people, but it could be late into the weekend before everybody has their lights back on again. Right now, thousands are still in the dark. Now, because of all of those power outages, many school districts have canceled classes for a second straight day. Atlanta Public Schools, Fulton County, and Cobb County are closed. Gwinnett and DeKalb counties both doing virtual learning only. And you can see all of the closings uh, on our website as well as the CBS 46 streaming app. A crime alert coming from Gwinnett County this morning. A man is dead and another is hurt after a shooting in Lawrenceville. This is new video from the scene on Summer Ridge Lane. Gwinnett County Police say several people got into a fight in the parking lot and that's when the gunfire erupted. Right now, police have not made any arrests. And believe it or not, this is really shocking. We are now four days from this presidential election. Today is the final day to cast your ballot early in person. So far, statewide, a record 3,588,000 people have cast their ballots. President Trump is making another stop in Georgia over the weekend. He's going to be in Rome on Sunday, just two days before the election day. This would be his fifth trip to visit Georgia this year. His first one uh, was back in March at the beginning of the pandemic. And Senator David Perdue will be campaigning with Mr. Trump in Rome. He's called off Sunday's final debate with Democratic challenger John Ossoff. He says he's pulling out of the event so he can rally alongside the president. The move comes one day after Ossoff called Perdue a crook and accused him of trying to profit from the pandemic. Former ambassador to the United Nations, Nikki Haley, Governor Brian Kemp and First Lady Marty Kemp will be campaigning for Kelly Leffler today. They're making stops in Hall, Henry and Walton counties. Senator Leffler is locked in a tight race against the Reverend Raphael Warnock and Representative Doug Collins. All right, uh, after really a mild week and a messy day yesterday, much cooler temperatures, but sunshine yeah. on the way. Meteorologist Ella Dorsey with all those details. It's a glass three fourths of the way full forecast. It is much colder when you step out the door this morning. Temperatures are between 20 to 25 degrees down from yesterday, so it's going to feel a lot more like fall. You are going to need the jacket. It will be windy and cool. Clouds in the morning, sunshine in the afternoon. High temperatures top out in the low 60s today and they drop quickly into the 40s overnight tonight. The wind will slowly die down overnight and that will set up a beautiful weekend ahead. Halloween itself looks absolutely perfect. Sunny and 65 degrees Sunday. Don't forget we fall back. What that means is we gain an extra hour of sleep, but we lose the extra hour of sunlight. Sunset on Sunday is at 544. Looking at next week, it will be quite chilly, especially on Monday with highs only in the 50s, but we hang on to no rain chances through the first week of November. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News, brought to you by West Shore Home, Atlanta's one-day bath remodeler.